Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now. Follow that vegan teacher, she will show you how. Hello everyone, today we're going to be reviewing this little video by this young woman. Her name is S.S. Sniper Wolf. In some of her videos, she eats dairy, she eats meat, and she doesn't say don't do it. Ma'am, wow, 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 wow. 2021, I am now getting attacked for the food that I eat. Hi, Leah. It's Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. So you're not actually getting attacked for what you eat. I'm simply pointing out what I wrote in this slide. Let's read it together, because these are the words that I hope you will be saying in your next oral presentation for class. You can eat what you want, but you can't eat who you want. There must be consent before touching anyone. Mother cows never consent to be raped or to have their baby boys kidnapped and murdered just because we want to drink milk or eat cheese. Drink oat milk. Eat vegan cheese. La 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 Oh my god, it's vegan lasagna La 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 Oh my god, it's vegan lasagna Yeah. 2021 Want. Uh oh, let's review that slide again. Here, let's change the color. Maybe that'll help you to remember better. You can eat what you want, but you can't eat who you want. There must be consent before touching anyone. Mother cows never consent to be raped or to have their baby boys kidnapped and murdered just because we want to drink milk or eat cheese. Remember the song? Drink any other kind of milk. Eat any other kind of food, but don't hurt animals. Veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds, put them in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate, so be vegan and open up your heart. Whether you eat meat, you like grass, you don't eat pork, you're keto, gluten-free. I eat gluten-free, not by choice, but because my body literally can't digest it. I don't tell you how to live your life. But please do not tell me how to live my life. If you don't want anyone to tell you how to live your life, what right do you think you have to tell this pig that it's time for her to die at just six months old just because you want to eat bacon, sausage, or ham? Leave animals alone. This pig doesn't want to die in a gas chamber or by being boiled to death or having her throat slit. She just wants to live her life. There are so many other things to eat. In your next presentation, I want you to talk about the animals with compassion. Tell the truth about what they go through. Show empathy. So you see, veganism has nothing to do with a diet. It has to do with a moral baseline. In your next presentation, here's another example of a slide that you could create. Let's read the definition of veganism together. The word vegan was coined in 1944 by Donald Watson of the Vegan Society of the UK. This definition states, 
Veganism is a way of living that seeks to exclude, as far as is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So you see, veganism is not a diet. It's a moral baseline for any decent, kind-hearted human being. You just go to the store and buy the vegan version of whatever else you are going to buy. Have you ever actually tried vegan cheese? Some people love it. Personally, I don't eat it that much. I just have it on vegan pizza. But why not get it? If it's cruelty free, go for it. Vegan cheese, vegan cheese, vegan cheese is tasty. Vegan cheese, vegan cheese, vegan cheese is cruelty free. Go to YouTube and Google dairy. It's scary stuff stealing milk from baby cows. Be vegan and eat the animals. Happy. By the way, the video I'm referring to in that song, Dairy is Scary, is created by this young woman. Her name is Erin Janus. You should really check it out. It's only five minutes long and quite eye-opening. Oh, lunchtime. Come on, let's go get a messy shiitake burger. I got just the place. My treat. The future is vegan. No matter what you're Time for ice cream! Check the label! Check the label! Check the label! If it's vegan, it's okay! Check the label! Check the label! Check the label. If it's vegan, the animals will say, Hooray! And after ice cream, time to dance! Come on, SS Sniper Wolf! Shake it! There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals, don't buy their bodies, don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It is only by the grace of God that you are not in their skin. Each time you see a public display of meat, dairy, stolen eggs, or fur in an ad, give it the middle finger. Each time you see an animal suffering, run to help as if you were the victim. Each time it's time to eat, ask for and choose the vegan option. Don't be a bully to vegan children or anyone who has compassion for the animals. Heaven awaits those who do their part with a compassionate heart. Every vegan started out like you thinking they could never be vegan. It was a crazy thing to do and yet here they are, 100% vegan, speaking out on behalf of the victims all over the world. Never think that you can't be an ethical animal rights activist because not only can you do it, but it's also your moral duty and your destiny. Be brave, be better, be vegan, be loved, and start now. I need my protein! I need my protein! I need my protein! Oh boy, I can see this is going to take a while. Like I already said, plants have protein. Leah, you don't need to eat animals, or their secretions, or their eggs. Yoo-hoo! SS Sniper Wolf! Leah, open your eyes. Take the blinders off. Ah, there you are. There's that pretty face. All right, let's continue. Now here's another example of a slide that I would like you to prepare for your next oral presentation in class. And one day when you know enough, you too can be a vegan teacher. I can't wait to have you as my assistant. So let's read the slide. Did you ever wonder where chickens, cows, pigs, turkeys, and lambs get their protein from? That's right. Plants have protein. So instead of inefficiently filtering our food through them, we should stop raping and breeding them into existence in the first place and eat the plants directly. In fact, there are more and more ethical Olympic athletes and bodybuilders who never eat any meat, eggs, cheese, or fish. If they can do it, so can you. 
Do you even know what you're doing? Do you know what you're contributing to? If no, but I just don't care. When I was young, I was taught animals were put on this planet to be eaten. That's how I was raised. Just because you were raised that way doesn't mean you have to stay that way. When you know better, you can do better. Let's read this slide. Knowingly contributing to the rape, torture, enslavement, and murder of innocent beings is what psychopaths do. Rape culture exists when good people don't speak out against injustice and cruelty. Just like we know it's wrong to pin down a woman, sexually violate her, steal her milk, kidnap her baby, and murder him, it's also wrong to do this to any other females, even those who look different than us. In fact, the more vulnerable the victims of society, such as the children, for example, the more we have a responsibility to defend them. It's time to go vegan and protect all victims. Go veg yourself, go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan, go veg yourself, go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan. Okay, Leah. Well, I'm really proud of you for sitting still this long. I know you're getting tired and it's gonna be recess soon. Just gonna look at a few more slides. We're gonna have one more dance and then you're free to go. We'll continue this another day. Okay? Okay. Some parents are speciesists. Another way to say it is speciesists. Just like some parents are racist or homophobic, you can break the cycle and be kinder than they were. Being vegan is also the best thing we as individuals can do to protect the planet from the eco footprint of animal agriculture. You have an opportunity to teach your parents the truth. But first, you must learn yourself by watching the important documentaries such as Earthlings, Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy, and Dominion Movement. Take a screenshot of this right now, so you won't forget. Veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds, put in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate, so be vegan and open up your heart. Here's an example of another slide you could create in your next oral presentation to demonstrate that you understand that stealing is wrong. Let's read it together. If you think that stealing is wrong, don't steal anything from animals. Not their milk, their honey, their eggs, their sperm, their fur, their feathers, their skin, their scales, their wool, or their silk. Don't steal their freedom, their dignity, their babies, or their lives. Are you vegan yet? What are you waiting for? Are you vegan yet? Open the vegan door. If you pay the murderer to commit the crime, you're just as responsible as the person who took that life. If you want to know if something is humane, ask yourself if you would want it done to you. If the answer is no, then reconsider your actions and be vegan. We can create heaven right here on earth by making the animals' lives so much better, by not eating them, wearing them, using them, or exploiting them in any way. All right, kids, last dance, and then it's recess time. Time to dance. Oh, come on, you know you want to. If you want to get to heaven, you know what to do. It's time to be the vegan for the animals and you, Mother Earth, the skies and the oceans too. We have to protect them, we all know it's true. Heaven is vegan. Heaven is vegan. Heaven is vegan. Heaven is vegan. Heaven is vegan, it's vegan right now for every pig, lamb, turkey, fish, chicken, and cow. All we have to do is change our ways and lead with our hearts towards better days. Heaven is vegan. Right now, let's help her save every child. 
chicken, pig, and cow. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's put our empathy into action. 